a little squiggly down under. And the three inch iron fist mining gold dredge of doom. Because shoveling's for suckers. Hello people, welcome to a hot damn ass day on iron fist mining. Now it's like nine o'clock. I have a couple things I need to reiterate here after a conversation with Steve Brancato. He's one of the stars of Prospectors. Now, I got in a conversation with him and his friend Ted on Steve's page on Facebook about that black tourmaline I had found. Now, the price that I gave you, the 13 bucks uh, carat, that was based on a retail value. And uh, Ted was telling me that there in Colorado that they basically crap those things are everywhere. And I was telling him uh, the hometown I came from in Alturas, there's these places called the Lava Beds. And up there you can find uh, obsidian needles, obsidian stones, some the size of tables, okay? And up there, people have them lying in their uh, gardens and their flower beds and their walkways, so it's really hard to sell them. But down here in the valley where I live now, man, nobody has them. And they'll pay up to 500 bucks for a rock about the size of a... I don't know, a small ball, bigger than a softball kind of thing. So that the price that I gave you was I found a, a site that sold a piece that looked j just like mine, a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing, and they were paying or asking $13 a gram for them. Or a carrot, I can't remember which. But they said, you know, that price seemed a little high, and what I was suggesting to them um, was that they take pictures of some of the stuff they have because Steve said he has a bunch of this stuff sitting around his house. Well, take pictures of it. We'll buy it. Us, the people. Don't worry about selling it to the jeweler, the man that doesn't dig it up. And Steve kind of made that point. Sometimes he likes to keep them because the market doesn't want to pay fair value for not only the work of carrying like 300 pounds of material anywhere to go dig it up. The guys buying it aren't digging it up. I'm digging it up. Steve's digging it up. Ted's digging it up. Amanda's digging it up. And all those other people, you know, like you out there, digging it up. So you set the price to the man. If he wants to enjoy the shiny, I say we raise it up and make our own little circle of people. And you, the man, have to buy from us. The ones digging it up. Is that fair? Is that fair that you come out and do all the work and use your brains, your skills, your savvy to find it so the rich man can get richer off your work? Is that fair? That's what I'm asking. Is that fair? I don't think it's fair. So, I'm back out here. Water's still high and I had some ideas about how this stuff's traveling in here. You can really see the rib things that I laid out now. Wow, it's really jamming through there, man. I have a hell of a time setting my sluice up today. But, I noticed something else on here. You can see a trail of sand coming off this one. And that's that, uh, that is 100% that vacuum action going on. It's sucking all that stuff in there, and then at some point it blows out the light stuff, thus leading the trail. And when you see those trails, that's the way that the gold is following is on that trail kind of the same shape as these down down before I used to go across and across is bad because the river doesn't flow across it goes down <laughs> I shouldn't have known that but hey you know it's a learning curve nobody's teaching me how to do this so anyway I'm sore I'm tired but I wanted to clear that stuff up. That way I'm not freaking out the market and everybody thinks, oh, no, that was based on one place that's here in California. That's where I got that price from. So, let's get to digging. And I didn't bring a shovel today, no shovel. Just tunes, backpacks, some water, some buckets, a pan, and the money cups. And the three inch iron fist mining gold dredge of doom. Cause shoveling's for suckers. Ugh. You know what? All I see out there right now is a lot of work. <laughs> Better get to it if I want some shiny. Alright, so I'm taking a little break and making sand sculptures into giant sperm cells. <laughs> it's kind of an accident, but looks like one, right? A little squiggly down under. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, what I did is I started out, my theory was there'd probably be better stuff up around this corner. And boy was I wrong. That was a big waste of time from there to there. But from there to down here is doing really good. Um, this is the second clean out of the day and it's getting around lunchtime. This one, what is inside this bucket here, is from the top sluice. And I saw a pretty nice chunk in there. It's definitely three dimensional. Though you can't really tell by what you're seeing in there, right? It just looks like dirt. This one is out of sluice number two, the shock tooth. And as you can see, it catches some pretty good material too, nice and dark. Uh, in the past, they used to take this stuff home and process it. But I just chill out, use my uh, magnet of doom, clean it out, toss the stuff up here. Blah, blah, blah. Instead of packing it all home. That way I just go home with the gold. That's how, you know, why it takes so little time. But I'm hungry. Gotta eat. Just thought I'd bring that up. You know, you might think you know where it's at, which I thought it was up there, but I was wrong. That's another thing the soft handed man, the man that ripped you off, man, doesn't know. Can't come out here and do it himself. Because he'd hood his whittle off his hands. And then he'd have to go get him painted and done with his girlfriend, the tannin booth. The big sissy. You know, it's cool if women do it. You know, I dig it. But dudes, mm -mm. you doing that, I will personally tell the man club and they will pull your man card. Mm mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. So, yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of trippy. Hear that? I'm just exhausted and tired and hungry. <laughs> I want to get out there, man, but the current's a little strong. You can tie a rope off and dive under it. Douche. It's changing, though. I am I can see out where I was digging and junk before. This kind of got taller down in here where it was down lower. And this is kind of making a big old pit. That wasn't there before. There was a big, uh, like an island thing. And it's gone. Get on, on. Wow, man, and it blew some big old rocks down there. I can see them under the water. Wow. I wonder if they came from up here. I don't know gonna be a different spot damn it <laughs> all right so I hit the first sluices uh, bucket that's what I got out of it man look at some of those chunkers in there I can't really see what the camera's seeing because it's so bright out here but from what I'm seeing there's a lot of gold up in there it's kind of close to what I got at the end of yesterday man see what I mean about fo following the stringers You know, I was thinking about some stuff, and if you guys just, it's not that I'm right or something, I'm just on to it. So, if you want to have results like this, try doing it like I'm doing it, man. Two sluices and a sucker pipe. And some patience to get that out of the mercury, because that took forever. That was about 20 minutes worth of panning. And I still got that one left to do. Uh, and the mercury's grabbing it, so I don't want to lose it. Psh, psh, get back in there. Psh, 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 psh. There you go. There's some gold. I'll set clean out. I don't know how much I'm going to do today. I'm kind of tired. It's kind of pretty. Looking at rocks. Blah, blah, blah. I like that scenery right back in there. In that area. You'll watch my show. You'll follow my methods and get rich. Actually, I don't think, I don't know if you can get rich doing this. At least recreational wise, it's cumulative. It takes a while for it to add up to something. Something else I forgot to mention too uh, Tanya Creedon, she makes uh, necklaces out of those crystals. So there's somebody else you can network with if you have a, an abundance of them. I know I need to get her some so she can make me a few. Maybe I have some iron fist mining kind of stupid stuff. Not that you guys are going to buy it anyway. 
I'll just have them and give them to people. You know, I better dump my gold out. But I told you I saw a couple big chunks in there. There's one of them. Ching. Look at the mercury grabbing my gold. Dirty pig. And this is the gold from bin number two, or sluice number two. That's why I run two sluices, otherwise I would have lost that. No, it's not substantial, but, you know, when you're after little gold, don't you want to catch as much of it as you can? I do. And after six feet, you don't really start losing any. And you saw how much was in the first one, so on a percentage ratio, not sure, don't know, but that much worth comparatively speaking. And if I keep hitting gold like that, uh, I'm going to keep digging regardless if I'm sore, tired, or starting to talk completely stupid and kind of like the Kirk. And I don't know why I'm doing it. Maybe Christopher Walken and the Kirk are stuck in my head today. They're asleep, dreaming, and they're channeling me. Weirder things have happened. So, back to the water, my monkeys. My monkeys, we go back into the water to get more shiny specimens. And to hopefully one day get all of us 99 percenters to take control of everything. Just think about it, we're 99 percent. How can the one percent beat us? How? If you're going to give in to a 1%, then you, man. <laughs> Think if 99 of us got together to build a car and versus one guy, who'd win? And you have to give them the same amount of stuff to use so they'd be identical. Hmm. See the advantages of getting together and dropping the, I could do it better. Let's, let's do it better. Let's all of us. Let us all do better. Isn't that the point of the game? I think that's why YouTube and all them hate me so much is because I'm trying to turn you on to it. <laughs> freedom, my people. Freedom. You like freedom? I do. I especially like this free gold money. I'd like to get into a good pocket of it. Maybe I would if I just shut up and dig, right? <laughs> so I'm packing up my gear. My back's starting to hurt. Don't want to go through a super long healing process. I am my only tool besides this stuff. If I break, mm -hmm. I got no repair people, things to help me feel better. So, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, some of you guys might be wondering what's up with this tri thing. This is a relief in case the middle, that's where I run my sluice, has got too much water going in it, so it lets some out, and then the third one's the dig side, so. That's what it's all about. And the ode to the man seed pile. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, but it kind of came out that way. I did give him eyes. I'm calling him Herbie. The man gravy cell made out of sand. Man sauce, man gravy, whatever. I know it's kind of gross, but it's funny. It looks like it, right? <laughs> or a Q-tip or a matchstick with eyes. I don't know. I'm getting weird. Got to get out of here. It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. And bushy. Look how tall this stuff got. Jeez. It's a jungle in here. And we have reached the point. At the end of the video. See, there's Milo. Right there. I did the panning. Uh, I don't think I dropped any gold. But, uh, that's what I got. That's a penny. I've seen other dudes do this. Makes it easier to see, I guess gives you some perspective uh, that's not too bad I didn't do it for too long today I only cleaned out three primarily what you're seeing came from that other one I showed you earlier in the video so that's about it I'm tired and have a few other things to do it never ends but that's what makes it fun right Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got this pistol. Let's see if I can find it. That had a little tourmaline in it. Now this is average for what we get here. and You're probably not going to see it, but that dark patch, they're like little needles. 
Okay, so that one piece that I did find with that big chunk in it, that is extremely rare for out here. You just don't find them. Some of these other ones got some pretty cool stuff. It's not going to really show up, but... I wish there was some way I could figure out how to take pictures or whatever of the stuff I got because all it ends up being is blurry. I have no idea how these guys are getting these pictures. Outside from having a scope or something thing that I can't afford because I'm poor. Because that's all the gold they got today. <laughs> I like that piece. And that one. There's another one down here that's super heavy and got like a, a bar but either silver or something on it there's another silver shiny in there they say that there's titanium down in here it could be what uh stains rose quartz is either titanium or iron so i don't know it's probably silver no my luck maybe i would if i just shut up and dig right <laughs>